all right what is up guys it is your boy winster and i'm back at it again with another video we have a good friend of mine who ended up getting second place at a trophy tournament let me see that let me see the trophy bro Jeez, man that thing looks nice um but we got a second place deck profile here for you i'm gonna let him explain everything his name and what deck did you play bro um my name is anthony and i decided to play lab uh i've been playing lab for like super long time and i ended up getting second at a trophy tournament I went undefeated during Swiss, and then in top cut, uh, the guy I beat in Swiss beat me in the final. Um, I kind of bricked really hard game three, and he's playing Tenpai, so I couldn't really do anything. But uh, let's just get straight into it. Three Ari, I'm playing Furniture. Uh, three Chandra, three Torby. Let me through all this. One Clock, two Lady, Arius, and one Lovely. Um, I played only two Lady. Uh, most of the furniture builds are only playing one for like to not brick. Um, if you're playing against Runic or like Cash Tira and they Rise Heart you or they like tip you, you have no way of reoccurring your bodies. Um, Arius kind of sucks on her own. Um, you kind of need like another body or another trap card to really make her interactive. Um, once we hit like the Rise Yield format, she becomes more relevant because you can like just torrential them a bunch of times. And then Lovely's a mandatory. Uh, she was stuck in my hand every single game. Like, she is a hard brick. Uh, that's all the main deck monsters. Uh, we got three Nib. And then the tech for me was Lava Golem. Uh, this card came up too many times. Uh, I didn't play against any Ubel. This was specifically for Ubel. But um, the one deck it did come up against was Blackwing on my round one. And he made two towers. And I just gave him Lava Golem. And he couldn't play. And then Nib is really funny with the furnitures. Um, it just tributes their whole field and they get no token. <laughs> it's happened to me too many times playing against you, bro. <laughs> um, I played the field spell. I feel like the field spell, if you lose her, this field spell just becomes her. Like it, it literally does everything for you. It monster reborns any fiend without targeting and uh, it just pops a card without targeting uh, when you activate one of your welcome cards. And then normal traps, you just monster reborn for free. I've seen a lot of people cut this because they feel like it's bricky when you open it. When you open this card, they don't know how to react to it. Like 80% of the people who see the field spell, they don't think it's a threat. And then when I activate welcome, like, oh, it's not big welcome, so I'm not going to ash it. And then they lose a card and I gain a card. And it becomes like a one for one trade that they don't know about. Uh, to the trap cards, three big, three karma cannon, three imperm, two dogmatica. Two terrors, two transactions, two welcomes, one trap trick, and then the one floodgate was just skill drain. Um, this card came up once in the entire tournament, and it was in the top four. I was playing against Tempai in game three. He uh, opened no breakers, and he went first, and he set up like seals pass to Kwaki Marami, and I uh, went to my turn. He, I set five pass. He went to his turn. He went Sam I main. He went to go Nobusaman Pyjar and I just flipped skill drain. And he couldn't play. And then from there I just played beatdown. And that was about it. Uh, I got the extra. Uh, the Dogmatica target. And Nentis. Uh, this card really overperformed. Garua. Uh, this one Synchro Chaos Angel because he's busted. Uh, Baguska. I didn't make him. But I felt like if I needed to stall the game without skill drain, my en my engine just makes Baguska. And it's also a fiend, so if I knock myself, it's not a big issue. Uh, my one time card was Infection Buzz King. This is literally just a lab staple that I kind of put on myself. It burns for half the attack if it's a monster and it extra deck rips. So like this is like Diabolus, but for like my deck specifically. Uh, I ended up playing two Typhon because I played against Cash Chira at a regional and they ripped my one Typhon and I couldn't win. And I felt really salty, so I decided to just put another Typhon in. Uh, played Anima for the Ku Klok, SP, Dark, Muckraker, IP, uh, Unicorn. I was gonna cut this for another Muckraker, but um, my friend told me that if they Unicorn you at all, or if they also like, if you burn through your SP, you want something for IP, and I felt Unicorn was the best. Um, one Underworld Goddess, and then Bucephalus. 
Is there anything that you would change from the main or the extra? Um, in the main, I'd probably add another transaction rollback just because I didn't feel like I had enough furniture discard. But the entire time I was playing, all the furniture discards were super good. Like I never had an issue with what I was discarding really. It was either I was conflicting myself from discarding another piece of engine or like a normal trap. And uh, with the extra, I definitely put a second Muckraker just because she comes up during the grind game. Not like it comes up a lot, um, but she also just protect your guys from destruction. And a lot of people don't know what Muckraker does. <laughs> I don't know what Muckraker does, bro. <laughs> uh, so for the side, it's pretty standard. Three Lord. And the only standard card that I don't see a lot of people playing are Phantasmae. Um, this card against Tenpai and Yubel is absolutely insane. Um, you go, They go first during Tenpai and you open Phantasmae, you have a way to out Kakimaru, like immediately. And they have to be scared of what, if you put back the Phantasmae, because now it's a body during their turn. And all of my bodies get over the Quackamero because the seals uh, zeroes it out. Um, I had someone Quackamero me in Swiss. It was my round four guy. He Quackameroed me during his turn because he normaled it. And he passed turn. I told him reveal dragon and he had to destroy it because he didn't have a dragon in hand. Uh, two Dark Warlord and a Thrust. Uh, my buddy Duncan told me to play Thrust in lab like forever. And the reason is, is that if they interact during your turn at all, you just get a free trap, especially if it's like a good power trap. So like, henceforth, Erad. Um, this card is absolutely insane against White Forest because they literally can't play it. They have nine pieces of monster engine and, that I've seen, like the Joshua Smith list that tops uh, Lyle. It's like 36 spells, like they're cooks. Um, two evenly and then two D barrier. Of course, you gotta have the toxicity in there. I remember, I think we played one time and you deburied me on my turn. I yeah. was going first row. But, uh, but yeah, bro, big congrats, man. Long time coming. The trophy is super nice. Uh, any shout outs or anything? Um, I gotta shout out my uh, teammate right here, David. Um, he's one of, like, one of the best players in the state, hands down. Um, most of my testing buddies are a part of my team as well. Uh, Duelist Nexus. Um, you guys have seen Fulkman, he does the thing with the, the <laughs> riffle where he shuffle his cards really weirdly. Um, he's also a really good testing buddy. Uh, most of my team helped me a lot, but uh, you know, the the big W is the girl for not being mad that I'm not home all the time to play testing and all that. Super supportive. So that's about all my shout outs. Shout out to the girlfriend. Well, good luck in your next games, bro. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll check you guys out later.